Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's Thursday, June 25th, 2009. And I'm hiding because I have a surprise. Um, someone had a little, I don't know, run in with some bleach and some red dye. Alright, you ready for this? Hi. So, um, this is my hair right now, and I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah, let me do a little 360 for you. Ready? Yeah. Though, I gotta say, in this light, it's looking mighty pink, and it was supposed to be red. So that's a little worrisome. Um, yeah. So I was like, I'm so over this mohawk thing. But then I went to my friend's house who just moved out of town. And he's really big on mohawks and hair dye. And it, I knew it would be hard not to do anything to my hair if I went to his house. And I did something to my hair. Um, so all he did was bleach it first. I was like, I just want to bleach the top. And he said, okay. So he bleached the top. And then he said, well, it looked kind of weird with just a big chunk of bleach in the front. How about we do more? And I said, okay, how about it fades, like less to more in the front. And I think my understanding of the back of my head is here. And I think his understanding of the back of my head was here. So then I ended up kind of skunk-like. Um, and the problem was he put bleach on hair that was already kind of red. It was like really faded red. So when it bleached, it kind of turned into ugly, ugly neon orange. And then the rest of my hair, which wasn't left over red, was nice and bleached. I couldn't really handle the bleached orange thing. Um, I'll show you a picture. Um, so I ran around the whole next day trying to find red dye and got my housemate to help me. And here we are. So, I want to talk about the topic now, but I just felt the need to talk about my hair for a while. And if anyone knows me in real life, they know that is not unusual. I can't help it. I talk about my hair. Okay, so, um, this week's topic is be a good ally. A how-to. First way to be a good ally is to just be really open and honest and that really means open communication with someone who's non-gender normative. Establishing comfort with the other person and then being able to ask whatever questions you need to ask. I think that um, having this open communication is really key and means that there won't be any assumptions made and means that, um, that someone who's trying to be an ally can actually be supportive um, through truth, not assumption. That way we can both understand each other, um, the person can understand why I want to be called the name I want to be called, why I want to use the pronoun I want to use, and we can go from there. Step number two is once this open communication is established and we've had this open dialogue, then um, the ally can be an example for other people. Um, there's like a piece of fuzz on the lens and I can't handle it. Okay. Um, they can be an example for other people. So um, like if you're in a group and you're with a bunch of people who don't know you necessarily, this person using the right pronoun and using the right name um, leads by example. And I think that that is really great um, and a wonderful thing for an ally to do. They can correct people 
when um, they use the wrong name or pronoun or assumption or whatever um, along with me. It's not the easiest thing to do, correcting people. I have a lot of trouble with it. Um, but I think having allies who do that along with you are, is very helpful. Three. A uh, good ally is just a supportive friend. Four. A really good ally is an ear. An ear. Um, just someone who is willing to listen. Being non-gender normative means a lot of talking and thinking about these things. And um, someone who's just willing to listen is a really great ally. Five. I think I said four, so that would mean five, but I'm not sure. I lost track. Maybe five. Like Dylan was saying, someone who doesn't use gendered language all the time is a really nice ally. Saying, hey gals, or hey girl, or girl power, or all that stuff rubs me the wrong way. I don't like it. Um, and it's really nice when you don't really hear it a lot and you don't have to be like right that kind of applies to me because of my biology and that really doesn't apply to me because of my mind space so let's just not go there it's nice to not have to even think any of that so i think good allies are people who are aware and just try not to use that language six one two three four five six like jt was saying i think that this is actually one of the most one of the most important things. It's someone who can support you when you're dealing with really confusing gender stuff, but at the same time, someone who can just turn that off and just be your friend, regardless of how you identify and what you look like and what you're going through and can just like you for you and be your friend. That's really nice to have someone that you can talk to when you really are working through stuff, but all the other times when you don't want to think about it, it's really nice to have someone who can also turn it off and just hang out, watch a movie, um, play a game, whatever, um, and not think about the gender stuff. So um, I think that's all I have to say for today. <laughs> Happy Pride to everybody. Um, for me in San Francisco, the Trans March is this coming Friday, June 26th. Um, the stage is from 3 to 7, and then the march is at 7 in at Dolores Park in San Francisco. You should come out if you live in the area. It is a good time. And then Saturday, the 27th, is Dyke March, and it's the same setup. Dolores Park, 3 to 7 is the stage, and then 7 is the march. And then Sunday is Pride Pride, um, down market. And I honestly don't usually make it to Pride Pride. I'm usually really gayed out by then. Um, which is exactly like point number six, right? Sometimes you want to be gay. Sometimes you want to be gender talking. And sometimes you just want to go back to living life. And usually by Sunday, I'm to that point. But just so you know, Sunday, Pride Pride. Um, and you can see everyone and their mom and their dog and their gerbil walk down the street and be like, hey, the mailman's gay. Hey, the doctor's gay. Hey, the garbage man's gay. It's great because everybody's gay. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So hope everybody's great. Have a great pride. And I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Bye.